for. Now let's eavesdrop on the audio diary of Ben, ornithologist based in sub-Antarctica. Bird Island is written by Katie Wicks, starring Rhys Shearsmith, Julian Reintut and Alison Steadman. Hello, one and all. Welcome, dear listener, to another of my diary entries from Bird Island. Uh, For those of you out there who are curious to know more about life on a science research base in sub-Antarctica, well, you've come to the right place. Another rip-roaring day ahead, battling with the elements. I'm just going to quickly finish this game of solitaire. It's become my little sort of morning ritual, if you like. First thing before heading out, solitaire on the old computer... Every day at 8am, you can set your watch by me. <laughs> Step don't, actually, because sometimes I play it at random times as well. Should really be out at the Albatross Colony, but it's, <laughs> it's very addictive. I'll be joining Solitaire Anonymous before I know it. <laughs> well, who's to say that doesn't actually exist? I knew someone who was addicted to shopping, but she was also agoraphobic, so she did it all online. So I think in the end her husband cut off their internet supply and she was cured after that. I've got to collect data to send through to main base today on uh, on population patterns, etc. So I really, really should get on. That's Graham, you can hear in the background, BTW, strumming away. Oh, bobbins! This is Shanghai Solitaire, this version, which is the same as standard Solitaire, ostensibly. The main difference being that if you lose, then a a little man in a robe appears and taunts you in a silly voice. I mean, silly because it's childish in nature, not silly because he's from Shanghai. Wasn't a racially motivated comment. No. God, no, there's nothing wrong with coming from Shanghai. I mean, it's the undisputed financial hub of the Asia-Pacific. Oh, Jane, hello. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit weird, I guess, being here for a birthday. Uh, well, yes, yeah, you get used to it. Graham and I had it last year when it was our birthday. On our birthday? What, do you guys share a birthday? Mm, not if I can help it. <laughs> what? What? Oh, no, no, it was a little joke I was making. Oh, sure. Well, a, a package arrived for you, just dropping it off. Oh, Thanks. Hey, well, uh, I'll leave you to your work. Yeah. Would you like to play a game, opponent? No, no. Not now. Thank you, Master Wu. <sighs> Rather busy. Mmm, <laughs> very fluid, that. That's lovely stuff. Ooh, sleek as a seal pup. Uh, this coat arrived this morning. Well, it's not just any coat. It's the latest in high-tech Arctic wear. As experts, we've been asked to test them out, give them a bit of feedback. And where better to do it than in the actual Antarctic? Hmm, That's all I need. More paperwork. They've sent a questionnaire to fill out as well. Oh, it's pages and pages. Please read following statements, blah, blah, to see if you concur. Mm, I concur less. <laughs> no, I'm only joshing. This is important research. It's just a little bit, um, a bit time-consuming. Uh, this, uh, this particular design is called a big blue. Presumably because it's blue. And, uh, big. Really big coat. Absolute... Synthetic monster of a thing. <laughs> That's very blue. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. Is that the coat they sent for us to try then, is it? Yep. Let's have a look. Oh, that's interesting. It says here it also comes complete with an auto inflate feature, instantly turning it into a life jacket. Mm. It'd be handy if you're on holiday, I suppose, and you couldn't swim. Mm. I imagine you'd be far too hot if you wore this on your holiday. Well, would you rather be too hot or dead, is, is, is my point. Well, neither. Uh, well, this is what I'm saying. Right then. <clears throat> Let's see how big blue fares with the, the big white. 
Ooh, that's a good ample pocket room. Uh, I'm just going to make a note of any patterns spotted amongst the birds today. Uh, sort of uh, trends, if you like, trends that come and go, uh, you know, like uh, leggings. And interestingly, I have noticed that over the past few years, a slight drop in the number of adult female albatross and an increase in the number of adult males. So unfortunately, what we have here is quite common, a group of older males who hang around in a clump, although I believe the official collective noun is a rookery, uh, desperately trying to attract the attention of females. Yes, it really is quite a sight. I don't know if you've ever been to Colchester on a Saturday night, but um, it's not dissimilar, poor things. They're a bit run down, of course, and less able to replace their feathers now, but they can still breed with the best of them. Isn't that right, lads? <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. Don't give up on love. Never too late. Oh, blimey, that wind's got a chill. I think I'll, I'll test out the uh, wind resistivity of the hood. <laughs> that's funny. It's signed here by the managing director of the company. You never guess what her name is. It's Elaine Hood. <laughs> Well, give Elaine Hood a biscuit, I say, for a very high-quality hood manufacturing. First-rate wind resistance, very good. Hats off and, uh, and hoods up, is all I can say. <laughs> right, Just, uh, I'll make a few more notes. Oh, I wonder if I've got time to squeeze in another game of solitaire before dinner. Ben! Ben! Oh, oh, hello. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, it's this, uh, this hood, it's so effective, it's difficult to hear. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Pardon? <laughs> so, how are our bachelors this morning? Uh, oh, you know, they're still in the game. <laughs> well, look, Jane's birthday, I was thinking maybe we could, we could do something later. Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you, have you got her anything? I, ha I have, actually, yeah, yeah. She, she was admiring my uh, pen knife the other day, so uh, I've wrapped that up for her. Yeah. Oh, pen knife. Mm. Okay, great. Uh, about 1,800 hours? Uh, yeah, cool, cool. Actually, Ben, I know you were talking about making a cake for her the other day. Well, unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't have time uh, to make a cake, no. Uh, so it looks like we, we won't have one. Oh, okay. Okay, see, see you later then. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cotton buds can't go off, can they? No, nah, that'd be fine. And I'm in the medical supply cupboard. I've got a sort of twitch in my eye. I think it's because I stayed up late playing solitaire. <sighs> Tell you what, big blue is so cosy, I might just take the hood down there. I don't need it now. Oh, for goodness sake, it's stuck. Can't get the flipping hood down. Hey, you are right. Hey, fine, thanks. Wow. That's very blue. Thank you. Not you hot with that hood up? No, just right, thanks. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, can I just... Oh, yes, not, not much space in here, is there? <laughs> your, your coat's taking up quite a large proportion of it. <laughs> I'll get out of your way, I just wanted these. Uh, oh, do you have a headache? Yes, I, I actually have um, what's known as a deviated septum, which can in turn affect the sinuses, hence the headache, yeah. I was having acupuncture for it. Oh, really? Whereabouts? The health centre. Uh, no, I mean, was it in your head? No, it was a real illness. Um, right, well, sorry, Ben, can I, can I just squeeze past you? Yes, yes, yeah, sorry. Oh, what, what's that? Oh, sorry, you must have set me off. What? It's enlarged itself. Can't really stop it once it starts. E excuse me. Vaseline, that might help. Sorry. Sorry, lad. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, I did stand on you, fella. Sorry. Can't really see where I'm going. This bloody hood still up. <laughs> What's this? No? Too fat? Yes. I shall be writing a very stiff letter to Mrs. Elaine Hood about this. <laughs> Ooh, ha -ha. 
Look, Ben, um, before Jane gets here, why is your hood still up? Uh, just general testing. Right. Fair, fair enough. Um, Jane mentioned that you were being a bit odd in the medical supplies cupboard earlier. Um, she said that you were standing quite close to her. Oh, what does she mean by that? Yes, well, it's Bijou. <clears throat> you know, you're always in there looking for Tom's. Yeah, I know, I know, but, well, she said that when she tried to get past you, you, you said that you were enlarged. Oh, I, I hope you two aren't plotting to give me the bumps or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's incredibly bad for the, uh, the vertebral column. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Jane, if I could explain about earlier in the cupboard, it wasn't me, it was, <clears throat> uh, it was Big Blue. Don't care what you call it. Um, no, I mean, you set off the uh, auto-inflate feature. Um, I had no idea. Weirdly oversensitive. Big blue, I mean, not, not you. Yes, there's a sort of um, a sort of rod that sticks out that you must have touched. Um, total wrong end of the stick. Well, right end of the stick in this case, but uh, uh, yes, apologies. <clears throat> <laughs> um, right, well, uh, thank you, Ben. Um for that, because I just, I just wasn't sure what was happening, so I did wonder. Well, at least we know it works. Oh, yes, and then some. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jane, this is from me. Uh, just a little something. Oh! Oh! Oh, how kind of you. Thank you. Can I open it now? Well, uh, I've got you something, too. OK. Oh! Uh, yes, uh, well, I uh, thought, what do you get the girl who has got everything? I don't have everything. Everything you brought with you, I meant. Oh. Ta-da! Oh, a pebble! Well, no, not just any pebble. Pebble in the shape of... Potato? Penguin. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, hang <laughs> on, yes. <laughs> if you squint. Well, well. That's, the, that's the wing there, isn't it? Oh, no. oh, thanks, Ben. <laughs> Shall I get the lights? What for? The cake. Oh, we're having cake. You made one. Did I? When? I, I asked you if you'd made a cake and you said no and then winked. That means yes. Oh, well, I've been playing solitaire quite a lot lately. I think I may have developed a slight twitch in this eye. No, really, it's, it's fine. Look, I know, we can shove one of these tea lights into a bagel, see? There's really no need. You see, it's as good as a real cake. That is sweet of you, Ben, but you, you really you don't have to bother. No, honestly, I just feel really bad because it's your first one, isn't it, on the island? Ben, your coat's on fire! Oh, 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 Quick, take, take it off, take it off. Oh, oh, come on, it's, it's stuck at the top. That's it. Oh, oh, pat, pat it, pat it. Oh, oh, use the pen knife here, oh, help me out. Yeah, you spoilt the surprise now. Oh, pen knife, thank you. Oh, no, it's out, it's oh. out, it's okay, it's out. It's out, oh. the fire's out now. Oh. Right, come on, let's cut you out of this thing. Oh, thanks. Jane? Yes, Ben? Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, Bird Island was written by Katie Wicks. It starred Reese Shearsmith as Ben, Julian Reintelt as Graham, and Katie Wicks as Jane. The producer was Talusha Galani. And there's more from Ben and Graham at the same time next week.